Hey there, it's Jason Freed from 37 Signals and I'm back again with another video. Yesterday I walked through the product strategy project in Basecamp, which is where we decide what to do and how to do it for both Basecamp and Hey. And one of the comments on YouTube was, that looks great, but how do you set up a project like this? Like how long does it take to get this going? What's it like to do that? So I thought I would show you that today. Turns out it's incredibly simple in Basecamp, so let me show you exactly how that works. So we're gonna go to the home screen um, and I'm gonna move between the existing project and start a new one and kind of toggle back and forth to show you how quickly you can put one of these together. So first thing you do is you go to make a new project and I'm just gonna call this product strategy two and in the description field, I'm just gonna paste the description from the other one and I'll talk about this later, um, but projects begin as invite only, meaning the only people who can see them are people you explicitly invite create. Now, um, this little wizard pops up, don't need that. I work here, I know how this works. So um, what you get when you start up a new project is this. You get the project name, who's on it, and a set of tools that are already preloaded. Okay. Now if you go back to the actual project, you'll see we have a campfire, we have two card tables, we have a message board, docs and files, and two to-do sections. Now, when you start a new project, you get these defaults, a message board, to-dos, docs and files, campfire, schedule, automatic check-ins, and a card table. Now again, card table hasn't launched publicly yet, but depending on when you watch this video, you might have it by the time it does. So um, how do we make this out of this? Well, it's really simple. So let me show you how to do it. We're gonna go to change tools and um, and again, I'm gonna go back and forth so you can see this. Now normally this would take like a minute and a half max, but I'm gonna kind of go back and forth. So I'll slow down a bit just so you see what I'm doing. We have a campfire here and then two card tables. So let's start with that. So here's the campfire. I'm actually just gonna reorder that and put that up here. Then we have two card tables. So right now I have one. I'm gonna drag that up here and click add another. Now the second card table is called Hay Shaping. So I'm just gonna name it right now. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna rename this one to Basecamp Shaping. All right, so now if we go back to the project, you'll see we have a campfire and two card tables. Campfire, two card tables. I'll actually go into make the columns in a minute, but now we have message board, docs and files, to-dos. So we have message board already here, docs and files is here, and then to-dos. Now, in the existing project, we have two to-do sections, to-do here and to-do here, and this one's called feedback and ideas, so let me mimic that. So again, I'll go back up to here, change tools. I'm gonna make another and call this, what's it called? Feedback and ideas. Feedback and ideas, oops, boom. Now I'm gonna turn off, if you go back to the project, we don't have a schedule and we don't have automatic check-ins in this actual project. So I'm gonna go back here and turn that off and turn that off. Now the tools you're not using, well the tools you are using show up up here. The tools you're not using show up down here. And we also have an email forwards tool which allows you to forward in external emails into your project. So if people are still emailing you from outside, you just forward it into the project and everybody in the project can then see that. We're not using that for, for this now. Um, but I'm going to go back here. Let's go back again. Existing project, campfire, two card tables, one's called Basecamp Shaping, one's called Hay Shaping, Message Board, Docs and Files, To-Dos, Feedback and Ideas, Campfire, Basecamp Shaping, Hay Shaping, Message Board, Docs and Files, To-Dos, and Feedback and Ideas. So in a matter of a minute, essentially, even though I went back and forth, I've set up the structure. Now, one thing I actually noticed is that I don't like that this is called Docs and Files, because this is really like a collection of shaped documents, pitches. So I'm just gonna go back here and rename this to, um, Let's call it pitches, pitches, and docs, whatever. Okay, so now it's even a little bit better. So you can rename these tools in Basecamp so they mimic or they fit with your workflows or what you call things. So for example, the default chat tool in Basecamp is called Campfire, but if you prefer to call this, you know, chat, there, it's chat, right? Um, you know, you could, you could even go, um, you know, this is Slack. Of course, it's not. It's Basecamp, but like, this is the entire product of Slack basically is this. So I just kind of can do that if I want, but I'm just going to go back and rename this to Campfire because that's what we call it. All right. So I've got Campfire here, 
these two boards here, or these two card tables. You know, so this is like Slack is here, Trello, Trello. Message board is like an email replacement. Pitches and Docs is like you know Google Docs uh, or Dropbox. To Do's is like whatever other tool you have. So we have like five products in one on one page that I set up in a minute. Um, it's it's pretty remarkable. Um, now, let's dive into actually making one of these card tables look like this. So I'm going to go into the card table, and these are the default columns. We have triage, figuring it out, and in progress. So let's just see what this looks like. We've actually got this is called shaping ideas, and then these are the column names. Now I've actually printed this out so I can look at this, so I have to flip back and forth on you because that would be disorienting. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to rename this to uh, shaping ideas, shaping, oops, shaping ideas. Okay, I'm going to rename this one to shape next. This one to in progress. Now I've only got two columns here, but in this one I've got all of these columns, right? Five plus done, which is already there by default. So let's just add another one and we'll call the next one ready for feedback. We'll add the next one called uh, ready for betting table. And the next one is called ready for the cycle. There we go. Now we've got, it's like peach colored, yellow, blue. So let's just go make that like peach colored, uh, yellow, blue. And this one is purple and then like brown. So we'll go purple and we'll go brown. So there we have it. Um, I just created this structure in this new project in just a second. Now, if I go back to the page, since there's no content in there, it's going to look like this, but I'll just add something here so you can see what it would look like. So I'll say like, you know, I don't know, um, uh, color home page cards or whatever. Save. Now, if I go back to the project, you'll see that that whole structure is now represented there on the card. These are basically windows into what's inside of them. So um, what's really nice is that you get a big picture dashboard style view of everything that's happening in a project on this homepage for the project. And then you're kind of walk, going through the window to get into the room essentially, or going through the door, whatever. But I like window because you can see through it. So now that there's something here, you can see that. And if you added stuff in the campfire, you'd see that. If you added stuff here, you'd see that. Let's go to pitches and docs, for example. So here we have, in this one, we have a few folders, Basecamp pitches, hey pitches. I'm just gonna quickly make a few so you can see. Um, Basecamp oops, pitches, new folder, hey pitches. And I'm just gonna reorder these. Um, I think they're colored, so we got yellow and purple, so make this one purple, make this one yellow, right? So we've got that set up. And I'll just show you what it make, looks like to make a doc. So let's say I go into this project, I just make a document. Now, Basecamp has its own built-in document. So like, you know, sample document, whatever, right? Um, oops, post, right? So um, we've got a sample document in here. If I go back, we've got a folder now with a document in it. Again, folders with documents in them and including like subfolders. So you can go as deep as you want there. Um, you can also, of course, not just add a Basecamp document, but you can add a Airtable document or a Figma doc or Notion, Envision, OneDrive, Sketch, all these things, Zoho, whatever it is that you're using, basically, we have a, a thing. So you can add those documents right in here as well alongside Basecamp documents. You can also drag in files from your desktop or your, or your mobile device, whatever it might be. So I'm not going to recreate all of these because it's sort of unnecessary, but you get the point. Now we've got this and this because now these have content, so they're represented visually like this. And that's essentially it. So again, I went slow to show you things went back and forth, but literally in a, in a minute or two, you can set this whole thing up and get rolling. Um, compared to, you know, imagine doing this across four or five different products, which is typically what companies do. Um, I mean, you've got to onboard people in all these places. You've got to set things up in different places. You've got to tell people where to work in different ways. 
it's a total mess with Basecamp. It's all right here in one place and it literally takes a minute or two to get all this stuff up and running. Now, one more thing I do want to show you is if you go to um, the actual project, there are some more people. So let me just invite them to show you what that looks like. Let's add people. Let's add um, Brian and let's add David. I can add a personal note if I want. I'm not going to add them to the project. Here they are. There's a nice block at the top that says just added. So let's say you had a long project with 16 people and you just added two. We put those at the top so you can see what you just did. You can also alter how they're participating in the project. We don't need to go into that right now. But now I go back here, got these three people, all these tools set up, same exact thing as the actual project. And um, we're pretty much all set. So. There's more I can show you later, but uh, hopefully this was a, a helpful look at how quickly you can spin up a new project. And by the way, if I went home, it's right here. So I can go into that. New projects are pinned by default, so they always show up at the top of the screen because the, the, the sense is you're probably going to want to get back to it pretty quickly. So boom, there it is. In and out real fast. And I can move between that and um, you know I can go there. I can go to you know, any other project really, really fast. I can also hit Command J and type them in. So I could jump to product strategy, product management. Let's go to that one. I can type the product strategy, go to that one. I can type product strategy two, go to that one. So I can move across entire realms of work and different projects and different people in a matter of seconds and land on a project page with all these tools ready to go. So there you have it. Hope that was useful. And if you have any other questions, please post them in the comments below and I will either answer them there or make more videos. Thanks again.